Hello Colors, welcome back to Viva Bassa and welcome to another interesting episode where we discuss on some interesting updates. We start with Joao Felix as Liverpool could move for the 23-year-old Barcelona target if Mohamed Salah leaves. We are going to discuss more on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about Clement Lenglet as the Barca defender will join a Premier League team as Aston Villa are keen. We are also going to be discussing more on that. So guys, as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. If you're just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are very much welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. A report from Ebola has affirmed that Liverpool have set their sights on Atletico Madrid forward and Barcelona target Joao Felix as a potential replacement for Mohamed Salah. Reports suggest that Salah is being courted by Saudi Arabian giants Al Ittihad, who have presented him with an enticing five year contract worth more than 100 million euros per season. Indications that the 31-year-old forward has expressed his desire to make the move, prompting Liverpool to initiate preparations for his replacement. It is no secret that the only reason why Joao Felix is still an Atletico Madrid player right now is because he is waiting for Barcelona to make a move. The Portuguese international, who spent the second half of the previous season on loan at Chelsea, also has offers from Saudi Arabia, but he is more than willing to give time to Barca to sort out their finances. As far as Liverpool are concerned, his emergence on the radar signifies a potential transaction in the range of 70 million euros to 80 million euros, underscoring the willingness of the Reds to loosen their pearls strings, thereby replenishing Atletico Madrid's coffers. At present, as many as four teams including Benfica, Barcelona, Liverpool and Al Hilal seem to be chasing the forward. At Barcelona, the pursuit of Felix remains active but hinges upon the execution of departures from the well-stocked forward lineup. Among the forwards, Ace Abde and Ansu Fati emerge as the likeliest to part ways with Barcelona. Their prominence within the team has waned, leading to a decrease in their recent participation on the field. Why Abde holds aspirations of striving at Barcelona? There are indications that he might contemplate an exit at birth with a preference for La Liga destinations. Similarly, Antofati finds himself in a comparable predicament. The young talent is eager to enhance his situation at Barcelona and embark on a fresh chapter. If one of them ends up leaving, Barca could move for Felix, but Liverpool's entry into the picture could complicate matters although the Reds will fight to the nail to keep hold of Salah. Of course, Barcelona and their pursuit of Joao Felix continues to make headlines. Joao Felix is waiting for Barca, there's no doubt about that. But now the issue is finances. As expected, finances have always been the issue for a long time now, hindering our financial or our transfer aspirations. And that is the same thing we might face with the Joao Felix operation. Joao Felix, as I said earlier, is still an Atletico Madrid player till now, all because of Barcelona, all because of the patience he has for Barca to make a move. There have been a lot of clubs coming from Saudi Arabia to Europe, showing their strong interest in Felix, but only for the player to say, look, I'm not interested. Because Barcelona is his dream club, as he said some two months ago. He really wants to join Barca. But as we all know, it seems very, very complicated. It seems complicated, so it remains to be seen how things will unfold. 
And of course, now that we are talking about Liverpool entering into the picture, as Mohamed Salah's future remains doubtful, recently there have been reports saying um, our Etihad in Saudi Arabia have offered at least 100 million euros per season for Salah. And of course, as a human being, that is quite tempting as anybody might feel at that kind of position because such offer is incredibly high. And it doesn't surprise me that Salah is reportedly considering such. That is why Liverpool are trying to see if they can pounce on Joao Felix, preparing that for the worst come to the worst. If their star player Salah leave, then it will be a strong battle. We know financially, Liverpool can do it and they'll do it quite easier to get Felix. But just the fact that the player's preference is playing for Barca, that might become a hindrance for Liverpool. And that will play as an advantage for us. I hope that Barca can act quicker because as it stands right now, there's not much time. Because had it been, if it happens that Liverpool comes and start knocking immediately and Felix can realize that the summer window is soon coming to a close, I think it might be risky for us because Liverpool might now stand a big chance of signing him. But let's see how the transfer window is going to end. Then on to the final story of discussion. In a surprising turn of events, journalist Gerard Romero has said that Barcelona defender Clement Langlet is on the cusp of joining Premier League club, but it appears Tottenham will not be the club. Langlet's tenure at Barca, where he joined from Sevilla back in 2018, was characterized by flashes of brilliance and moments of inconsistency. Despite this, he showcased his defensive prowess at times. At this point, though, despite defensive injuries, Lenglet is no longer wanted at Barca, and given his high salary, those sitting in the higher offices are desperately trying to get him off the books. So Tottenham held a keen interest in securing the signature of Barca centre-back Lenglet. Of course, Barca also appeared to be investing in facilitating Lenglet's move to Tottenham. This prospective move could not only mark the beginning of a new chapter for the player, but could also potentially provide the Catalans with the resources needed to restructure their own squad. However, negotiations hit a roadblock due to Langlet or wavering stance on his wages and Barca's transfer fee demands. So, which team is Premier League now? According to Fabrizio Romano, Aston Villa are considering the possibility of pursuing Langlet as potential acquisition in the closing days of this transfer window. Why various choices remain on the table, Barcelona are cognizant of Aston Villa's interests and are closely monitoring any progress. In any scenario, the La Liga champions hold a strong belief that Langlet's departure is imminent. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.